I'm Andreas Rosberg and I'm one of the main designers of Motoko, Definity's new programming language for the internet computer. And I'm also one of the co-creators of WebAssembly, the new code format that runs in all your browsers nowadays. If you're a programmer who is familiar with the common breed of mainstream programming languages like Java, JavaScript or C Sharp, then you should feel familiar and at home pretty quickly with Motoko. In particular, we took out all the special knowledge that you might need to have on other blockchain uh, programming languages. None of that is needed um, with Motoko. You can just use it as if it was an ordinary programming language. The internet computer adopts WebAssembly as its virtual machine, which means that there aren't that many languages available yet that is independent of what the platform actually is, what hardware you are running on. It's like a virtual processor. One central design decision with Motoko was that it's going to be a typed language. Over the last one, two decades, there has been a rise in the popularity of dynamic languages like JavaScript and, and Python and these. But it turns out usually this approach doesn't scale well. And we also wanted a language that is perfectly adapted to the environment of the internet computer, which once you write larger programs with larger teams that evolve over a longer period of time, the lack of type system support can really get in the way because it becomes harder to maintain these things. It becomes harder to communicate intent between different programmers on the team and in the documentation. In the case of Motoko, there's no way around the type system that would allow anybody to break these properties. Not yourself, but also no library code you might be using or anybody else. So that is a very important factor for us to providing these safety guarantees. One of the central features that Motoko provides is the notion of an actor. So an actor is like an object that you can send messages to that is built into the language and maps to the platform nicely. We have built-in syntax for expressing actors, sending messages, defining message receivers for accessing the context that is available about the message. We also have special language features that allow you to program with this asynchronous messaging in a more natural, direct style, like the notion of a future or an asynchronous computation, for example. The internet computer is structured around the notion of a canister. A canister you can think of as its own distributed application. But it's not an isolated application on the internet computer. These applications can communicate with each other through messaging. And Motoko is designed to map this notion of a canister directly onto the notion of an actor in the programming language. So you can have multiple actors, which are kind of like multiple applications or servers, communicating with each other by sending messages to each other. The Motoko compiler takes your source code runs it through a parser, generates some abstract syntax tree, does type checking on that, all the usual things, except that in the end, what it spits out is not machine code, but it is WebAssembly code, and that's very much by design. Since the platform is open, these other canisters are not necessarily actually programs written in Motoko. They all just are based on WebAssembly. That's their basic language. And then on top of that, we have this messaging system where a Motoko canister can communicate with canisters written in any other language. This interface definition language, again, is completely independent of Motoko. So any language that you use to write an application on the internet computer can communicate through it. One thing that developers will probably find interesting about Motoko is that it supports orthogonal persistence. Orthogonal persistence is an old idea where a program basically stays alive. So when you write a Motoko program, you don't have to deal with a database or a file system to store your data, to save it to. You just imagine that you're working with the data structures that your programming language provides. This is inherent in the internet computer platform and Motoko makes use of that. 